Andy, um, great the sun shining today. Um, everyone's smiling. Bristol Rugby are launching their season. Um, how is the buzz in camp? Oh, it's pretty vibrant at the moment, but during pre-season, that tends to happen. You know, that uh, it's a bit of a phony war. There's no uh, games to be played, uh, and guys are able to focus on themselves and get themselves really fit and start to develop their skills. And yeah, you know, we're just layering in the the way that we want to play with it. But, uh, I'm pleased with the way that uh, the new players have come in, the attitudes they've shown, and uh, the way that uh, the guys were here last year, the way they're responding. And it helps when you have a, a reasonable finish to, to the season. You know, that uh, winning the last four league games, uh, and the, particularly the Newcastle game, was uh, was pleasing. And that's given the side a bit of confidence, um, which is, uh, I guess, dented. You know, if you look about the end of last year, um, was was dented uh, going into the pre-season because of you know, the loss in the playoffs. So uh, there's a lot more confidence uh, within the team, and you know, hopefully that uh, we can take that through to the games. Well, you came in towards the end of this last season. What's going to be different about Bristol? And what's going to be similar to compared to last year? Well. You know, as a team, you always want to be developing and always want to be improving. So, uh, one of the key aims for me is that uh, uh, that what we do is live, and uh, you, know, you can see the improvements that are, that are being made. So, uh, we're challenging every area of the way that we play the game. I uh, want to get a balance of the way we play, but uh, as you see, what happened at the end of last season, you know, sort of uh, moving the ball and playing with the ball in hand and uh, and attacking from all over the field is a is a key part of how I coach and you know, how I like to challenge players to, to play. But also, you know, I think this year we've got to be tougher defenders. And uh, you know, if I look at the amount of points that we conceded last year, the amount of tries we conceded uh, defensively, that was uh, pretty disappointing. And I think that uh, we're not going to qualify for the playoffs if we continue to, to leak soft skills. And in terms of that play, uh, style of play, you were talking about that exciting brand of play. And you've brought in some, some key signings. How are they going to add and what are they going to bring to the table in terms of the Bristol rugby squad? Well, in uh, Ben Skirving and Nicky Robinson, you've got some talent. Uh, they've performed very well in the, in the Premiership. Uh, yeah, ben renowned for his ball carrying uh, and you know, the consistency of performance. And Nicky being able to, to run a, an attacking uh, back line and uh, execute very good uh, attacking plays. Uh, that's just added with you know, with us with uh, Adrian Jarvis, Tristan Roberts. You know, in terms of the competition at ten, is great. A couple of young lads have uh, come in as well, and looking to see how they can uh, respond. And uh, uh, in particular, Jack Wallace when he gets himself fit, you know, to see uh, what he'll have. And, and we've got another old head uh, in the second row, Mark Sorensen, who's you know, bringing uh, a wealth of experience uh, that he's. Uh, gained by not only playing in New Zealand but uh, the experience of playing in Newcastle and at Northampton. And obviously many years of experience you've had at coaching and at playing and doing the pre-season training. Um, pre-season's not fun for any player, I don't think any player jumps up and down about pre-season but how have the boys taken to it this year? It's been quite a lot of hard work I understand. Well it's the game isn't it? You have to work hard in the game and uh, this is a period of time where guys can really improve their uh, SNC, the fitness, and it's been a big focus of that, but also the skills. And it's how you can apply the skills that you learn into the game, how those are translated, but also the, your, your strength and your conditioning that you have. You know, you've got to, everything that we do can't be done in isolation. So it's the improvements that the guys can make of, of being quicker on the field, how their work rate can improve, how they can get off the floor quicker. So we're looking at those areas as well as improving their, their technical aspects of their game. And of course, Sean Holly's joined you as well as part of the coaching outfit. And you know, that uh, before I joined uh, Bristol, um, I'd spoken to Sean um, and said to him, wherever I go uh, with my next job, you know, would he be keen to, to work with me? And uh, I'm delighted to say that uh, yeah, we stayed in touch and you know, when I got the Bristol job, you know, he said that was something that uh, he would like to, to come and work with me. So, yeah, really pleased about that. And. Yeah, his knowledge yeah, will help me in my improvements that I'm going to make, but his knowledge will also is really going to help the players and you know, the, the young coaches that we have, and, and Matt Sherritt, Matt Ferguson, they're going to be developing as coaches as well. And lastly, Andy, you've made it very clear that the, the ultimate aim this year is to return to the Premiership. Um, yeah. All players are bought into that, and um, I presume are very excited to get underway now. Well, you know, you've got to set yourself some, uh, some big goals in life, and... Uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, our first goal and it's an important goal for us because you know, why are we here? If we're not here to get uh, Bristol back in the Premiership then you know, I don't expect uh, anybody to be uh, staying around too long. 
All right, so it's important that everybody understands the importance of, uh, of, of, how, of why we want to do it, but also how to do it as well. And that's part of the, the learning that goes on.